is so not easy to do with one hand. Welcome to today's video. I am beyond excited. Getting right into it with this unboxing portion I filmed just before I was heading out of town. So I didn't have time to film the whole moving process the same day, but I wanted to show this quick 15 second part because in today's day and age, if you didn't film it, did it really even happen? You know, Petra from VDS was kind enough to have the cover sent out to me so it wouldn't arrive during the time that I was away. So that was awesome, but I still wanted to film my first impressions upon opening it. This is the second time I've ordered an ostrich planner, but the first time I've actually gotten full quill. So I was super excited to see it, and there's no way I could have let it sit unopened until I got back home. The color, which I'll go into more in a bit, was ordered sight unseen which is common for some of the ostrich colors because of the ordering process. But this gray is so much better than I could have even hoped for. This one is called Serpentine, and there were almost no examples of it in the Facebook group, so that's why I was extremely anxious to see it in person. And the feel of this leather, it feels so incredibly soft. I do have less quill on the inside and the placement of the quills is perfection. I cannot wait to move in. The day has finally come where I'm going to move into my brand new cover. Um, I went over this a little bit in the previous clip that you saw, but I unboxed it as soon as I received it because we can't wait, you know. Um, but I knew that I wouldn't be able to move in for another couple of days. So I wanted to kind of film the unboxing part and then mash that up with this part where I'm moving into the planner cover. So I did box it back up, of course. So we'll go in and take it out and I will say I have a lot of first impressions so I have a lot of thoughts a lot of opinions um, as I normally do but especially as it relates to this beautiful amazing cover and we'll zoom in just a little bit but I think what I was surprised by um, so this is well, let me take it from the top. So this is a standard Nomad from VDS or Vanderspec. And this is in the ostrich leather. And the color is serpentine. And the, I guess, question that I had in mind um, was about the color. I wasn't sure what color to expect. I had absolutely no idea what the serpentine ostrich color would look like. And the way I stumbled upon this was I actually put out on the Facebook group, for the Van Respect Facebook group, I put out a question to see who might be interested in joining me for a high chair for Tapestry Gray, which is a different um, ostrich color. Let me pull out my samples, actually, so I can show you. That will be helpful. All right, so I have quite a few samples. And the one that I was going for, where did I put it? Did I actually move it someplace else? I hope not. No, it's here. Okay, so this is the sample of Tapestry Gray. And as you can tell, I don't know, I don't even know if you can tell. It's not super gray. It's actually more of a taupe kind of color. And I really do love it. Um, and I really wanted to pair it with the Acacia Napa. So that was going to be the interior and I was looking to do full quilt on the exterior in the Tapestry Gray. I think these two colors complement each other extremely well. So I did put out a post seeing who might be interested in joining me on um, a high chair for Tapestry Gray. I didn't really get any takers, or at least not many takers, but maybe like a week or two later, another member of the Facebook group posted and asked about this color, which is the Serpentine Ostrich. Now, like I said, there weren't many examples of it posted on the Facebook group, so I had no idea what to expect. 
I did know that it was similar in tone to the Tapestry Gray, um, but my question was, I've seen other higher end planner makers or planner companies and company, I should say, one that does have a serpentine ostrich available and I feel like that one looks like it has more greenish or bluish undertones. So I really wasn't sure what to expect. So for that reason, I also knew that I would need to do the same color on the inside as the outside because I just didn't want to do a bicolor. So here we are. This is where we landed. I was like, let's just do it. I knew it would be in the gray family. That's what I wanted. And I did want to do full quill. That was something I was looking forward to. And um, I knew that I wanted the inside to match the outside. So that meant to do the ostrich on the inside as well. So I went with less quill on the inside. And here she is. Now there are a few customizations that I did make. Um, not a lot, but a few. And I will take you through those. I pulled up my invoice so I could see exactly what it says uh, that I ordered because this was ordered back in early January. So this was before the price increases that Vandrospec did in January and we were kind of like hashing out all the details but I didn't actually pay for the invoice until maybe the third week of January I think. So it's been a while. <laughs> it's been quite a long while and if you know anything about getting a custom planner or planner cover from Vandrospec you know it may take a while. Currently, actually, though, the wait, I believe, is like eight weeks, which is amazing. But when I ordered, it was 11 weeks. And when you do an ostrich cover, um, it's with the understanding that it may take even longer because it is like a more specialty kind of item. And I guess they like to take more of their time to make sure it's perfect. So the customizations I got uh, were, as you can see, the Serpentine Ostrich, full quill on the outside, less quill on the inside. And that just means there are less of the actual quills. And I think this is really pretty, the way they place it. And I love that these have the, like, the flattened quills on the inside. And then I also got matching stitching. So I'm not a fan of contrast stitching, so that will probably never be a customization that I make. And I did ask to add foam. So the Codex, or not the Codex, the Nomad, um, I think they don't come with foam on the inside. And it's really kind of hard to explain if you're not touching it, but it does have a little bit of bounce. It has a little bit of like foaminess, I guess. Um, but it's still very flat and very thin, so it doesn't really bulk it up too much. But I've noticed after my, you know, few trials of getting custom planners that I really do enjoy adding foam to all of my planner covers. So I also asked for the black Vanderspec tag. Um, I'm not sure... If you always have to specify, I really don't know. I just know that I see a lot more brown tags than black, but I prefer the black tag, so I always specify the black tag. Also, I did get the big back pocket. And while I am not generally a huge fan of a big back pocket because I don't need it, I don't need to carry a lot, I would rather get it on a traveler's notebook type of cover because I actually don't like to see the grommets on the back. Um, I know it's a thing. I know it's just me, but I don't like, I wouldn't like to have the grommets on the back here that I could see them. So <laughs> I do add the big back pocket. And another thing I did was to have the A5 clasp. So if you can see here, and I actually have to take this pin out. So when I snap this one, um, you can see, I'll put them next to each other. So my black, my JL black has the A4 clasp and this one has the A, this is the A4 clasp and this is the A5 clasp. So this one is a lot thicker, a lot chunkier and I just figured I would just try something new and go with the A5 clasp for the Nomad. I do think the one that comes standard with it is way too thin for my liking, but this one is considered the chunky option for the standard size Nomad, and I do like it. I think it looks really nice. I feel like it should just be chunky by default. <laughs> you shouldn't have to add it, but 
I am pleased with that. And then the next customization and final customization is I lengthened the clasp by one centimeter. And I will show you exactly why I did that. Um, let me take all of this out. So I'm basically just going to be moving from one right into the other. I don't really have time at the moment to kind of make it super pretty or I don't know customize the inside pockets of this one so we're just pretty much gonna be the same so if you can see here um, first of all you can tell the difference in the thickness of the clasp so again this one on the bottom is the A4 size and the one on the top is the A5 and then lining these up together you can see that the A4 clasp on the ostrich one is a little bit longer than the one that I have over here on the bottom. And the reason is because, and I don't even know if you saw me, it is kind of difficult for me to button this or to clasp it when I have this thick book, uh, the Hobonichi Cousin cut down, and then another book inside with it. And also have this extra folder that I added on to it. So with all of this bulk, it's actually pretty hard for me to clasp it. So I decided to lengthen the strap instead of widening the planner itself. And the reason for that is because I've also learned about myself that I, I like my planner covers to be very close fitting. So I didn't want to run the risk of widening this and making it too roomy or too big around what I keep on the inside. So that's why I lengthened the clasp and we're going to see together if I can possibly fit everything in and clasp it easily enough. So I'll go ahead and move right in. Oh, another thing that I'm noticing actually as I'm holding both of these is that I have heard this and I, did, I guess I didn't realize it because I never kind of compared apples to apples, but the ostrich planner cover feels so much lighter than the leather planner cover. It's actually quite weird when I compare the two of them. Um, yeah, this one feels like light as air. This one feels a lot heavier. That is very interesting. So anyway, I'll go ahead and move everything into here. And I'm just now thinking, would I want to like bust out the scale to see <laughs> like the weight of each? Is that is that what a geek would do? I don't know. I'm not going to do it. So, um, put that in there, and again, that's my standard size notebook. This one is from Good Ink Impressions, and I just have a clear cover, clear dashboard uh, from Cat Espresso Co. So, is that? No, no, no. The clear dashboard is from Chic Sparrow, and then, yes, yeah, Chic Sparrow, and then I have this acetate, like a plaid. Acetate, I think it's called the window pane version, and that is from Cat Espresso Co., I believe. So I just have that cut and slipped into there just for some added deco. And then, as usual, I will slip my standard size Hobonichi into this front pocket. And again, I did not heighten this cover, so it fits um, the notebook perfectly. But if I wanted to have like a clear cover on the outside of this, I would not be able to fit it into this full height slip pocket. I would have to increase the height of the Nomad. All right, so that is that. And here's a pocket on the front. Sometimes it kind of puckers up at the top when you do have a big back pocket. I feel like until you kind of get into it and you know, it stretches out or relaxes a bit. And that's another thing I don't love about having the big back pocket. But again, that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make just so that I don't see those grommets on the back. And when I like feel and squeeze this, now I can appreciate the foam. Now I can appreciate the foam and I can understand, I don't know, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it feels squishy, <laughs> it feels plush kind of in a sense. So anyway, so those are the two books that I normally have and then clasping it is very simple and I have some room over here. Now of course what I need to do is put in my thick fountain pens that I like to use. That one is a Pilot Custom 74 which is the one that I'm using for the month of May. 
my May Currently Inked video. Um, should have posted by now. So you'll see that in there. So that's the one I'm using. And it looks really pretty against the serpentine color. I do feel like it's a cooler toned gray. So that's really nice. Okay, so with that in, oh yeah, we clasp and it's easy. And I actually have room to pull it tighter if I needed to. Or to stuff this thicker if I wanted to. Now, the real test though is if I wanted to add a second pin. So I thought about adding another pin loop, but I decided against it because, well, when I originally got this one, I thought like the only thing I would change was to get a bigger or a second pin loop so that I can carry either my current Tombow marker or an additional pin or whatever. But after having lived in my planners for a while, I do feel like the placement, oh, sorry, I bumped the tripod but anyway I do feel like the placement of the second pin loop matters so if it were if it were made into here um it would have to have more clearance to go around the book I don't know if I'm explaining that well but if I have it on this little makeshift insert that I created and I just added one of those adhesive pin loops and I use this card to cut washi that's what that's all about but anyway so if I have it on here, it's easier for me to have it so that the pin kind of hangs over the side of the cover. I'm not sure if any of that makes sense. So when you get it, when you get the pin loop made into the cover, the pin kind of sits more inside like that. Whereas if I have it on this little card, I can kind of pull it over to the side. That's what I mean. <laughs> so anyway, um, fitting that on there. Wow. Okay. It fits and it wasn't even like a struggle for me to pull it close. So adding the one centimeter to the strap was the answer and I'm so glad. So I've taken a lot of gambles and <laughs> this is something I kind of do. I'm not a gambling woman. I really am not. Um, like if I go to Vegas or Atlantic City, I'm not doing the slot machines. I'm not doing any of that. But apparently on my planners, I will take a gamble. I gambled on the color sight unseen I gambled on some of these measurements that I added and it turns out that they worked extremely well and wow I am wow this thing is so pretty as you know if you've watched any of my other videos I am accustomed to petting my planners all the time it's just something that I will always do um and this one is no exception this is not my first ostrich planner but I do find it interesting that ostrich leather feels warmer than calf leather. And I don't even know how to explain that. Like if you're touching leather, it almost feels cool to the touch. Whereas, or the calf leather, whereas the ostrich leather feels warmer than that. It's very odd. It's probably something you might not even notice if, you know, that type of thing if you're not weird like I am I don't know um, but I'll go ahead and switch the rest of this stuff over so I have my coffee magnet from Kubo and Lucy and then I do have some task cards uh, where's the other one? Oh no, they're all here okay so some task cards these are from Cat Espresso Co um, I'm not currently using them at the moment I don't think I have another set that's why I said I don't think um, that I have any page flags on them but I they just live here for whenever I will switch over to using them and then my high paper clouds loyalty card where every time you place an order you get a little sticker and then once you collect 10 you get a nice freebie so I'll take that out and then I have this other set Okay, these do have page flags, and I think I'm missing the other page flags. But this other set of task cards from um, Cat Espresso Co. And as I'm looking at this, I think I would want to switch these around. Because I like having the floral show a little bit more than the brush stroke task cards. So anyway, that's that. And then I do have this. Ollie clip that honestly it just lives on here I don't use it for anything it's not clipping anything to anything 
because this kind of sits in there just fine so that's that and then in the back I do have some note pages I think I have some stamps uh, I need more stamps I made this little dashboard, clear dashboard thingy where I have some extra sticky notes. So that's what stays in the back here. And then this is nothing. I was just holding it here. I usually will make bookmarks out of the extra sterling ink vellums. So I would, next time I'm laminating something, I'll laminate this along with it and use it as a bookmark when I'm reading. So that's why that is there. But I have these cute little stickers. This was a freebie from Gracie Edits. And then this one is from Planner Aesthetic. So I just have those. And I guess I'll stick this one back. Hmm, back in here. Oops. Why not? Alright. So that is. Let's see. everything moved back in and I'm kind of wow that it fits so nicely and so easily with these two pins I actually would not normally have this pin here in the pen loop anyway like I said it might be a Tombow I don't normally carry two extra or an extra fountain pen but this one is newer so I've been kind of testing it out and using it here or there so that's why it's there and it is as you can see kind of like a thicker fountain pen so I'm so happy that it all fits and this is my new cover for the time being and I will preface this or this it wouldn't be a preface <laughs> this is after the fact but anyway I will note that I am not typically a planner cover switcher like I'm not you know one of the types that likes to switch from season to season or anything like that so for me to swap out of especially the cover that I use on a day-to-day -day basis it's pretty major originally I thought that I would do a new nomad cover in black ostrich but then I felt like that would be redundant and I knew that if I loved the black ostrich I would probably hardly ever go back to this one because it's basically the same thing it's you know black a different kind of leather different interior but still there needed to be more of a difference so I decided to pick something in the gray family because I felt like it just wouldn't compete with the black also I wasn't quite ready to go with anything that would be like a bolder color for me I just thought on a daily basis I would want something much more neutral and much more calm but I wanted to treat myself I wanted to do something so this is the one that I landed on the serpentine ostrich from Vanderspeck and I am so glad that I did I could definitely see myself using this in like spring summer I don't know and then pulling this one out fall winter um, but the differences are definitely large enough so that I would kind of love this one for different reasons than I love this one which would in turn make me want to pull the other one out at some point along my journey so I am equally in love with both of them it's kind of like children you love them for different reasons but you love them equally <laughs> so I'm equally in love with both of them and I'm really excited to kind of get this one lived in and just to see how much more my love for it will grow and these are definitely forever planner covers that is without a doubt as I'm feeling this one with the added foam and I told you it feels much more plush I can't even imagine this one feeling more or feeling plush like there's absolutely no like squishiness with this one whereas this one kind of feels you may be able to even see it like you can see it kind of indenting so that's the squish and that feels really nice in the hand so I'm really excited like I said to see these grow together <laughs> to see my love for them grow so you'll see this one on my channel a little bit more 
and this one will be back definitely just not sure when so we'll see about that and of course i'll keep you updated should that happen thank you so much for watching my unboxing and move in video today i appreciate you for watching and i'll see you in the next one